लिटरेचर हेल्प नॉवेल्स प्लॉट ओवरव्यू 215 देवदास इंट्रोडक्शन देवदास बाय शरद चंद्र वॉज फर्स्ट पब्लिश्ड इन बंगाली इन 1917 इट इज अ क्लासिक रोमांस नॉवेल रिटर्न व्हेन द ऑथर वाज ओनली 17 इयर्स ऑफ एज द नॉवेला हैज बीन मेड इनटू मूवीज in many indian languages including bengali hindi telugu tamil urdu assamese and malayalam it is the most filmed non epic story in india plot overview devdas is a young man from a wealthy bengali brahmin family in india in the early 1900s paro parvati is a young woman from a middle class bengali family the two families lived in a village in bengal and devdas and paro were childhood friends devdas goes away for a couple of years to live and study in the city of calcutta now kolkata during vacations he returns to his village suddenly both realize they are easy comfortability in each other's innocent comradeship has changed to something different devdas realizes parvati is no longer the small girl he knew paro looks forward to their childhood love blossoming into their lifelong journey together in marriage of course according to the prevailing social customs paro's parents would have to approach devdas parents and propose marriage of paro to devdas as paro longed for paro's mother approaches devdas mother with a marriage proposal although devdas's brother loved paro very much she was not so keen on forming an alliance with next door neighbors also parvati's family had a long standing tradition of accepting dowry from the groom's family during a marriage rather than sending dowry with the bride which was established custom and still is in many parts of india this alternative custom influenced devdas mother's decision of not considering parvati as devdas's bride because she considered paro's family to be trading low caste family despite the fact that parvati like devdas was a brahmin the trading label was applied in context of the marriage custom followed by paro's family devdas's father who also loved the little paro did not want devdas to get married so early in life and was not very keen on the alliance paro's father feeling insulted at the rejection finds an even richer husband for paro When Paro learns of her planned marriage she steadily meets Devdas at night desperately believing that Devdas will accept her hand in marriage Devdas had never previously considered Paro that way He feels surprised at Paro's bravery of visiting him alone at night and also feels pain for her He decides he will tell his father about marriage marrying Paro Devdas's father disagrees. In a confused state, Devdas then flees to Calcutta and from there he writes a letter to Paro saying that they were only friends. Within days, however, he realizes that he should have been bolder. He goes back to his village and tells Paro that he is ready to do everything needed to save their love. By now, Paro's marriage plans are in an advanced stage and she declines going back to Devdas and chides him for his cowardice and vacillation she makes however one request to Devdas that he would return to her before he dies Devdas vows to do so Devdas goes back to Calcutta and Paro is married off to the betrothed widower with three children He is an elderly gentleman, a zamindar. 
He had found his house and home so empty and lusterless after his wife's death that he had decided to remarry. He spent most of his day in pujas and looking after the zamindari. In Calcutta, Devdas's carousing friend Chunnilal introduces him to a courtesan named Chandramukhi. Devdas takes to heavy drinking at Chandramukhi's place, but the courtesan falls in love with him and looks after him. His health deteriorates because of a combination of excessive drinking and despair, a drawn out form of suicide. Within him, he frequently comp- compares Paro and Chandramukhi. Somehow, he feels betrayed by Paro, never realizing that she was the one who had loved him first, that she had said it out loud first. He does not realize this, but Chandramukhi does and tells him so. When sober, he would hate Chandramukhi and loathe her presence. So he would drink to forget his prejudices. Chandramukhi saw it all, felt it all and suffered silently. But she had seen that real man behind the fallen, aimless Devdas he now was and could not help but love him. Sensing his fast approaching death, Devdas returns to meet Paro to fulfill his vow. He dies at her doorstep on a dark, cold night. On hearing of the death of Devdas, Paro runs towards the door, but her family members prevent her from stepping out of the door. The novella powerfully depicts the prevailing societal customs in Bengal in the early 1900s, which are largely responsible for preventing the happy ending of a sincere love story. Thank you so much for listening to this story.